Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is a bear from Bear Republic. This is Racer 5 IPA, classic, classic IPA. It's actually been quite a while since I've had this. I haven't even had fresh. I think the last time I reviewed it was, it was uh, not fresh. And this is now canned, actually. And this is Best Buy, about a month away. So this might be like a five, six month Best Buy. So not the, quite the freshest, but hey, they say it stands up to Best Buy, and I have yet to have a fresh one. And honestly, you guys pull some comps below if you're still buying Bear Republic beer, but... I just don't know, I don't see a fresh out there anymore, and also I don't see the other brands that they do. Uh, I know they used to do Hop Rod, Hop Rod, Rye, and some, some of the other brands, Grand Am Pale Ale. Um, you know, I just see this around, but uh, classic IPA, uh, can't wait to dig into it, hopefully it tastes great, 7.5%. So, beer has a little bit of a, a haze to it, it comes in a medium gold color, uh, fluffy white head, let's get on that one. Yeah, it smells oxidized. Yeah. Yeah, it smells oxidized. Doesn't pop up much fruit, has a little bit of that kind of just like bland IPA aroma to it, a little bit of that bag thing, brown bag thing. Generic cleaning supplies. Yeah, cheers. Maybe it'll taste better. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Oh. Um, Amelia's got all sorts of opinions. It does underneath have a little bit of that zesty citrusy tone to it, mm -hmm. but again, if you do Best Buy until like another month, mm -hmm. how could it possibly taste like this? Kind of almost has like a pumpernickel taste to it. Yeah, but this one's actually pretty bad. You get the paper. Yeah. Like, I actually get paper. Like, oxidation, I think a lot of people have a hard time with. Um, you drink enough of old IPAs like me. I review enough for you guys. Uh, you sort of know what uh, IPA, uh, IPA tastes like. But then there is uh, transphenomenal, which is that flavor of um, uh, oxidation. And, like, the all flavor that they give you, it literally tastes like putting a piece of... Um, like, 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 cardboard. Oh, not really. It's, it's honestly, it tastes like white paper. Um, oh, really? To is you? It, yeah. Like, it, it, not, well, at least all flavor when they give it to you, like the chemical, mm -hmm. it tastes like putting like white, like, um, printer paper on your palate or something like, like white paper, not really cardboard, just white paper. It's very Not white. even like newspaper? Because I get more like newspaper. No, it literally tastes like, like white paper. It's weird. It's a very dis distinctive note. Uh, this one comes off. It's almost, yeah, like newspaper. It's dirtier. Yeah. It's, um, ugh, yeah. I, know, well, I, I pick up like some pumpernickel, like, you know, spice? like bread. Is that the malt coming through maybe? I'm, I'm thinking so. I don't know. It's, it's funky. I hate to even rate it. It's not this effective, one. it's not funky, but it does have some underneath IPA, IPA ness. Yeah. Did I say that? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. IPA ness. <laughs> <laughs> IPA dash N E S S uh, to it. <laughs> I thought I was going to correct myself, but I guess it comes out even worse. <laughs> So, that's a new one for you guys. Uh, IPA. <laughs> you know what? We need to make a beer called IPA. Just... <laughs> don't take it. Don't take it. I better not find it on Untapped. I am, I am copy writing that, trademarking yeah. it, whatever. When we, when we start our own brewery, we're going to call, call it. <laughs> we better wrap this up because Amelia is getting upset with how gross this beer is. She's not that bad. She's okay. But this beer sucks. Um, mm -hmm. Let's go with like a 68 on this one. Yeah. I actually, uh, no, it's better than that. 70. I'll concur. Whatever. Like, I hate to even give it a rating because I, I feel like it, it's just not good. Yeah. So until next time, guys, cheers. Um, I don't know why I keep falling for the trap. Like, oh, it's Best Buy a month away. It's got to be good. Like, I guess this is like the sad thing, like just sort of like Greg's beer reviews. Like, you should put bottling dates on beers. Well, stop making IPAs six months. <laughs> yeah. With a Best Buy. Like, even the canning date. Hell, I, I know to buy it one or two months in. I know it's not going to be good after like three, four, five months. So. Yeah. Uh, until next time, guys. Cheers. Hope you have a have had a fresh, delicious Bear Republic Razor 5 IPA. One of the great ones out there when I was getting into craft beer. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Post your nostalgic notes about this one. Later.